So, we're apparently gonna go take out some sutures. Have you ever done that before? <laughs> I have done that a lot. I'm trying to get certain tools. We have different kinds of scissors. These are curved scissors to take care of tongue. I don't want those. There are tools in the room, Doc. Oh, they're in the room. Oh, I should do, wow, did you get me a hemostat though? I don't know what Becky grabbed, let me see. So. She has a needle holder. Oh, perfect, that's what I like. Hello, hi, hi, how are you guys doing? We're doing fine. All right, wow, you got a whole bunch of sutures, didn't you? So. When, tell us what happened and when. Oh, uh, so I, I crashed on my bicycle and can't. Oh dear, you crashed on your bike? Did yes. you hurt your arm too? My thumb. Yeah. And it's getting better each day. Is it? Shall we take and a look I, at your thumb? She had a broken yeah. thumb. No way. Did she really break her thumb? Yes. She really broke her thumb. Wow. Was what? it this part here, this part here, or over Joey. in here? Joey. Well. Does it still hurt? Uh, I can't tell by squeezing you it. You can't? Does okay. It... 12 days later. Okay. So squeeze my finger. Harder, harder, harder. Does that hurt? A little. Little? Can you bend your thumb like this? Pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Wow. You're healing beautifully. So, folks, <laughs> this is really interesting. If you've got this broken, they might have. This would be your metacarpal. Uh, they might have put a little cast, but when it's just these bones and if you can just mostly immobilize it They heal pretty well and kids heal fast like three weeks, which is what they told you come back in three weeks We'll take a look. You're gonna be all set. Okay, so I'm gonna sit right here and take a look at your owie. That's a cool looking owie. Mm -hmm. Light a little further back. Perfect. This is white band-aid stuff. Yeah. Your band-aid stuck to me really hard. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want, Linda. So, this is 12 days old, right? Yes. I think it's ready to come out. That spot, you know, it's interesting. There's always the decision how long do you leave stitches in. Mm -hmm. And when it's near a joint like this, which is especially a, you know, we walk, so we put a lot of pressure there. 12 to 14 days is probably about right. There's a little needle holder actually that's a funky one i don't know if it's going to work you see how i can grab your your uh, dress here mm -hmm. and just i can let it go and it just hangs on mm -hmm. that's what i'm going to do on your stitch so it's not going to hurt because i'm just going to clip it on the stitch like this and then i can let go and it won't hurt okay mm -hmm. but it's just going to pull just a little bit on your stitch so i can get under it and cut it okay okay now imagine <laughs> If I've got this on your stitch and you like go, ah, you're gonna hurt, right? Cause it's gonna pull on it. So don't touch it, okay? okay? All right. So we'll start off right here. We'll just stick it on a stitch. See, that didn't hurt, did it? You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll get a little light. You still okay? Nothing. Yeah, you good? Like All right, then. We get a little light. Actually, can you hold the light for me? I will. You will? All right, hold it right there. You got it? Perfect, you're a great light holder. <laughs> and then I'll just get underneath it. Um, bum, 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 bum. Hold on. Good job holding. Mm -hmm. Doing a great job holding. There we go. Oh, that hurt a little. I am sorry. That was a. That was. I think we got two for one somehow. You're so brave. You did great. I don't think the rest will be quite that hard. That one was just a little tricky. So there's another one. It's just funny how they're tangled up. Maybe I'm gonna wait and do a different one first. Let's do, let's do this one. You have such pretty eyes. Thanks. <laughs> that one's tight, tight, tight. Yeah, it is. Whoa, I had to go pick a tough one. 
aqui. Good job. Yeah, you did great. That was a tough one. You know what always helps? See yourself on camera. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Everyone yeah. always smiles. You look really good on camera. So, another tight one. And you're doing excellent with the light. This is teamwork. Nice job. We got three. Three and counting. Three down, five to go. <laughs> is that how many there are? Eight? Do you think there's eight? Get the light a little closer for me. Awesome, thank you. Perfect. How you doing up there? You still good? Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. All right. It's starting not to look The ones that happen happens when my stitches come out or something like that and they get a little nervous, I guess I'm sweating. <laughs> That's normal. You're being so brave. I'm sweating and they're not even mine. Right? Some of you half as brave as you are. stuck. That was a long one. Mm -hmm. It didn't really hurt. Look how long. Did that hurt? Not really. Not too bad? Good. You're doing so good. You too, light holder. You're a great light holder. You're the best light holder I've had in a really long time. Like, probably over a year. It's hard to find good nurses. <laughs> but the, the real reason is I haven't been practicing for seven months. I was just joking. So, uh, it's been probably a year since I've taken stitches out. Like you're, you're my most favorite light holder of the day, by far. <laughs> Actually of the week? Actually of the month? Actually, you're the best light holder I've had all year. <laughs> That's amazing. We should give you a light holding prize. I agree. Awesome. <laughs> Here, I'll let you hold. Just don't get too close if that's okay. That's perfect if you can still see, Doc. Yep. Okay. Just like yep. I'm gonna get a little strip across there. Is that the last one? That was the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there was a one of them that got two tangled together, so I think it is eight. Do you see any stitches left? Those aren't any in there. I think those are just scabs. Right, right there in there. That's what I thought too. You think it's a stitch or is it a scab? No clue. That's just what my brain wondered. Yeah. I thought I think there's like like two more stitches, but in there? I don't know. Maybe they're just deep. I think we got them. Okay, cool. And I will be right back. All right. But I am not finding what I want. Nope, rapid test. Mm. So I'm coming in now. I'm coming in with showing them how disorganized I am. I think we're out of Stary Strip. Where, oh where are the nurses? I happen to know if we have Stary Strips? can't find scary strips or even the kind of band-aids one might use to put put something together. These reinforced skin closures. <laughs> they're, they're there called, you go. They're called reinforced skin closures now. You're amazing. Thank you. All right. Okay, I found what I was looking for. Well, I didn't find it. My nurse helped me. I was like a lost puppy. Yeah, these are special band-aids that are going to go across there to help support your your knee. Oh! Benzoin tincture. This stuff stinks. Is it going to stay forever? Forever and ever. Not forever, Joe. Not forever. That's like if you dye your heart. It doesn't stay there forever. <laughs> True that, little sister. I'm not a little 
both sister. I'm a big sister are... to these brothers. Whoa. <laughs> you are a big I, sister. Whenever I ask her to stop, she just keeps on doing She doesn't it. stop? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's cute. Those are our little secrets. You don't need to go around public and tell them. It's our little family. That's a little family <laughs> secret. She just runs the show. Now don't be telling on me. I'm keeping you boys in line. All right. Oh, so we're going to let that dry. Just for fun, I'm going to try one of these across here. Well, that worked really good. Yeah, it did. And the tincture stuff was intended to do what? Just glue. It just glue. helps it really stick on there. Otherwise, they peel off too easily. Off. How? Yeah. Um, they just come off. Would you like another band aid on there? Yes, please. Okay. I want to keep this a secret, kind of. I don't want people saying, hey, what happened to your knee? What happened knee? to your knee? Do you have any advice for your fans on YouTube? Doctors have special tools? Doctors have special <laughs> tools, you guys. This is true. In the hands of the right doctor, you might even get a good outcome. <laughs> If you ride with their cars. Where there's cars, that is true. Be very careful when you're riding where there's cars. And do you have anything you should put on your head, maybe? Helmet. Helmet. Always good to have a helmet. Did you have a helmet on? Yes. Good. Because you see, your head is fine. Your leg and your arm weren't, but because you had a helmet on, your head was fine. Um, you should put on um, spy glasses. And then you can make a good soft landing. <laughs> If you're gonna crash, you want a soft landing. <laughs> there you have it. Good job. Hey, Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul. Hey. Dr. Paul wants to sponsor his own video with none other than his own book. What the heck? Sponsoring your own video? The Vaccine Friendly Plan is a book written for those of you who are going to have children or who have children who have to deal with the issue of vaccines. It is a highly controversial topic, as of course you probably know. This book is not pro-vaccine, it's not anti-vaccine. People who are like pro all vaccines for everybody, one size fits all, they can't stand this book because it gives you science that might make you think about doing things differently. But the people who hate vaccines, what they call the anti-vaxxers, which I think is just a bad label, honestly. A lot of those people don't like this book either because it does suggest you might consider doing this vaccine or that vaccine because of these reasons. It is a measured science-based book. It is by all means not the only authority on this issue. And in fact, anything you choose to do, you should run it by your own pr provider, some trusted physician who you know really knows what the science is. They're not just following protocols. So get this book for yourself. Give it to anybody that's pregnant, going to have kids. There's no better book about vaccines and about pediatrics in general. Thanks for listening to me. I'm Dr. Paul. The link's in the description below.